Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the British Chambers of Commerce 2023 Global Annual Conference. My name is Aisha Hazarika and I am a political commentator, presenter on Times Radio and a columnist for the Evening Standard and the I newspaper. I also have a background in government and politics. I'm a former civil servant. I was chief press secretary at the old Department of Trade and Industry. Some of you might, yeah, a couple of people nodding there. Absolutely big up the old DTI. Um, and before, after that, I became a special advisor to Gordon Brown, Harriet Harman and Ed Miliband under the last Labour administration. That went well. Um, <laughs> I also uh, worked in business myself. I worked as an advisor for the global chairman of the former UK music giant EMI. And if that wasn't enough, I was also a stand-up comedian for many years, performing in pubs, clubs and festivals all over the country. And yes, before you all ask, stand-up comedy is the best training ground for a long and unhappy career in politics. <laughs> now, it's a real honour to be here today. The BCC does hugely important work with its members, very valuable work, and it's a strong, respected voice for all of you at the highest levels of government and in the media. I'm also personally delighted to be working with an organisation which has such strong female leadership at the top, which is hugely important, as you all know, in today's changing workforce. We need to harness the talents of all our colleagues. There's a real war for talent on at the moment, and that has to include women at all stages of their lives and careers, including raising children and indeed growing, going through the men menopause. Don't worry, any women in the room, the temperature is going to be cool. That is like a prerequisite for me doing any of these gigs, so I can rest assured. Now, I also want to pay tribute to all of you in this room and the hard work that you and your colleagues do for this country. Businesses of all sizes really are the lifeblood of our economy and the bedrock of our communities, providing jobs, opportunities, stability, livelihoods and really important services. And I think sometimes in our commentary and in our politics, we forget that point. When politicians talk about the aspirations they want for a good society, you as businesses are the only people that can really help them deliver that. And of course, it's been a really, really tough year for you guys. Businesses have been on a roller coaster ride. You've had to navigate lockdown and the pandemic, the horrific war in Ukraine, inflation at a 40 year peak, interest rates at a 15 year high, and of course, the challenges of leaving the EU and Brexit. But despite this and all the gloomy headlines, businesses have proved resilient. Last Friday, the ONS stats pointed to a 0.1% growth, again defying the odds and avoiding a recession. Now, we all know that that's not the healthy, buoyant growth that we want, but it is a reassuring sign that businesses are holding up. And if the figures were different, we'd be in a very different place. Now, today, the BCC has brought together its UK and international chamber network alongside a really terrific lineup. And this, of course, is a subject close to my heart. It's a really, really important time to be gathering in terms of the political landscape, a really critical juncture. We've just had these fascinating local elections across England. And of course, we're now very much pitch rolling towards the next general election. And we all know that what happens at the ballot box very much affects what happens in your businesses and your bottom line. It's really important at this next general election that your voice is heard and now is the time to do it. So as well as having top business leaders, I'm delighted that we've got key political figures from the government and His Majesty's official opposition here to speak to you and you know, do take the chance to ask them some questions. Now the aim today is to focus on how to channel a can-do attitude and determination into building British business. Now, this conference is going to focus on four key pillars to do just that. Skills, trade, economic growth, and the green innovation. 